Hello and welcome to How To Automotive. Today I got a couple of automotive repair tips for you guys that's either gonna save you time, make you money, or prevent you from messing something up. So stay tuned for that. Hello and welcome to How To Automotive. Today I got a quick tip for you guys. I got a little Mercedes here that has a EGR code, insufficient flow code. So when I was checking it out, I found a pretty obvious broken vacuum line. I pulled it off the port here on the intake but right below it, it's a little hard to see, but it's, it's broken right there. So the tip for you guys is not to just repair that and call it good, put the engine cover back on and clear the codes and say, uh, I fixed it. The tip is to test the entire system. So test the valve manually, make sure it works, make sure the EGR flows in and stumbles the engine. Uh, start to finish, check the uh, vacuum switch here and make sure that that operates. And also check when you operate the EGR valve that it if it doesn't stumble, to make sure that the uh, port here is not plugged or clogged up with carbon. So if you test the whole system, you're guaranteed to not get burned by anything. BMW broken bleeder screw repair. I'm Brian Nussel from How To Automotive. I'm gonna show you how to repair those. So what I like to do is take a Phillips screwdriver and a torch, a butane torch of some sort, and get the tip of the uh, screwdriver hot as you can get it without you know damaging the screwdriver. And then you're gonna take it and center up the uh, broken bleeder screw and then apply a little pressure and melt the tip of the screwdriver into the tip of it. It may require you to do heat it up a couple times to get it deep enough. Once you get it heated up and melted in there deep enough, then what you're going to do is just simply turn the uh, turn the broken bleeder screw out. You want to be careful to make sure it's centered and not off-centered because if you get it off-centered, it will melt the threads onto what you're threading it into. So once you get it unscrewed, then you can just simply replace it with a brand new bleeder screw and O-ring. And of course, top off and bleed out the cooling system. So on this old Ford van, I was checking fuses here and with my power probe. And when I came across the power side, you can see it beep red and it got a positive reading. And then when I come on the other side of the fuse, it grounded out. So the fuse was blown, the circuit was grounded out and shorted. So with the help of the wiring diagram, I determined that it was the switch side of the multifunction switch that was causing the short. Replaced the switch, short went away, all was good. Helped you out. Make sure you give it the thumbs up and share it. I'm Brian Nessa from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Encourage you to subscribe. I invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again for watching.